Yo, yo, yo. You talk. Hello. Hello. We are live. We're live, are we? Yep, we are live on the internet. What, the internet? That thing they keep in the little box with the flashing light. Oh, I know, above Big Ben. It's amazing. I know, I need to... I'll, I'll do some... Oh my god, is it like doing the whole... It is. Now, now we should be live. We should pop up. But I don't know. For some reason, I've been trying to fucking learn KiCad, man. It is brutal. What? What on earth is KiCad? KiCad is uh, PCB so software. Uh, you know, to make your own PCB. You'd think it'd be the case of like. Using a mouse and drawing little nodes to go to points, and those would draw lines. And yep, you got to design your own circuit and everything, and it's just like, ugh. like, uh, you you got to lay out the schematics first, and apparently there isn't a good uh, board like board shape and stuff. So if you wanna, if you want to, um, you know, like cut sections holes out of it. And there's no circle tool or anything. It's like, phew, don't I don't so fancy my chances. So a couple of um, yeah, a month or two ago, I got contacted by PCB Way, saying, um, oh, we'd like to sponsor you and work with you, um, if you can, you know, make us some sort of thing on your channel to to get some business. And I was like, hey, Clive, I'd like that, but. I don't know anything about P P P PCB, PCB design. design. Yeah, I can't even say it. And um, I don't. I, let me go away and think about it. I, I, I've not been able to come up with anything that I wanted to do as anything or know how to do it. So that screwed me that way. Oh. Frank's in the house. Clive's in the house. Hello, guys. Hello, lads. I'm just. I, uh... This is. I feel a little bit. Don't slut shame me. I'm showing a lot of cleavage today, aren't I? I'm just oh, looking at myself. You there. little hoe bag. I know. I know. What would your I've... daughter think? You know, none of that. You're not going out like that, Dad. Are you in pajamas? You're in pajamas, though, aren't you? I'm in pajamas. Normally, this is a little bit more disguised. It's just, just be like a normal top, but there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of skin on show. Getting my getting my sexy on. I presume you're in pyjamas as well, though, because you always are. Well, yeah, sure. I've, I've got pyjama bottoms on, but I'm in a normal t-shirt. The usual, the, the two grey t-shirts that I constantly wear all the time. Well, that's what I do on a Thursday. I actually put a t-shirt back on, and then I get changed yeah, after I, I need me making I need an effort. I need to start wearing some fucking drone t-shirts when I do LDO. So, like, so feel free to like call me out on that and be like... I would, but most of the time you can't see it anyway because this microphone's in the way and the, the yeah, I know. camera's up there. Does mm. any of that stuff work? Uh, I bought new antennas for the X8R and that works. It does. Did you Have you got the flat antennas for them still or the other ones? Yes. Uh, the uh, X4R or whatever, sorry. Oh. Sorry, not just eight. the little ones on the yeah. thingy little, watches. Little whip for one. So, yeah, that's a win, and I've glued them back on. So that's cool. Um, even though my Tyrannus doesn't really support that shit anymore, which is always fantastic. Nice one. I, I should It doesn't really... support the four hours. What? Why not? Well, yeah, I've got the, you know, I've got the fucking access one, and I. So it doesn't uh. it doesn't support X8 anymore, D, D8 or whatever. 
So I... Oh, you got a D4R. That runs on... Yeah. Hmm. You just need a little module in the old back, don't you? Yeah, which is like there. We should get Dom Clifton on talk. Express L L R S soon. Yeah, several people in my live stream asked me to try it out. Saying it's it's now really good. I remember people asking me about this in like November and it just seemed to be like a replacement for R nine. Where it was all about like low latency, but people are going on about like range and stuff, so maybe it's come on a bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, Already, this. we've had more drone talk than the average Let's Drone. I know, isn't it? Like, what it's the amazing. fuck's going on? Let me, uh, let me just send a uh, ping a message to a few people. Hang on. The, uh, hang on. Let's, let's, let's see who's about. Win. I don't know where, where you are. And the RC is online on um, Discord. Uh, slot. Let's just try and get a few more people in here. Say hello. See what's going on. Um, who else are we after? Clive, you're here, so you don't need you don't need moaning at. Uh, I need. I need Mr. Fruity Cakes. I've been making use of the old make deer in CP this week. Now, just to be clear, Jack, those are Linux commands. What do they do? CP is copy. Well done. And what's the other one? MKDIR. Is that make directory thing or something? It's, make yeah, it's the same as DOS. Yeah. Ask him a, ask him a more complex command, Frank. He's on a roll here. Just you. I was using um, Midnight. Do you remember that app where you scroll through directories and F15 is copy and shit like that? That's fucking horrendous. What, like on the Amiga? Yeah, yeah. Because it's all imported and I was using RetroPie. Mmm. Top. What is T.O.P.? Yeah, what's T.O.P.? Do you know? Is it a thing? Yeah, I know. I know what the thing is. I've got no idea. in the name. If you, if you type it, it'll show your top running processes. Basically, what's the oh, highest CPU and disusage and go down. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, what? Well, this is like a... It's a, the equivalent of a task manager. Or uh, activity yeah, monitor. Pretty much. Yeah, Mad. except it runs on command line and uh, it's all command line stuff because command line is where it's at. Mm. Right, are you ready? Ooh, oh, look I know. Jack's shiny pinky pegs. I know, I had, my, I had my teeth cleaned. Pro, if you do a good job, I think you're about making a new moderator on here as well. So. Uh, right, let's um, load the old game, is it? Yeah, I'm going to need it in Discord, please. <laughs> things, things haven't changed here, have they? No. Oh, uh, bollocks. Work. Uh, and we need to select you back. And we need to... What else do we need to do? Change from this to this. Right. Yeah, I know. Group. So is. one of us, one of us got knocked out, didn't we? Uh. Oh, I don't recognise that I hole in the wall. Focused and solve this murder, so I can do what I need to do. Oh, was he attacked by the thing with the like, red eyes or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're obsessed with picking up all the specks of dust, aren't you? Because you're some sort of sociopath. I don't remember it's going to this place. Plastic. 
No murder here. Do you remember going to this place specifically? No. We got I knocked can't down. Burn it. When, uh, so we assume he just woke up here, but he doesn't know how he got here. Yeah, that's why he was still laying unconscious. Right. There's a speck of dust, quick! I know, they're quite easy to see. Oh, we're, we're, we're by the, uh, I guess we're at the sewer -y bit. The beginning of the game. You're at the other side of the sewer. Can't be as bad as me on LDO putting Danny in timeout. Alright, don't worry, he, he, I'm sure he deserves it. But we're getting the I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. It's in the red box. Oh no, it's a payphone. It needs a dime to work. Does no. it take specks of dust? Is that a door on the left or anything? Or It oh. needs a dime to work. Yeah, we're gonna need a dime. Now, what does it say? In emergency, In emergency call James Latanza. Looks like someone knew I was gonna get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. Yeah, the uh, Mulder and Scully thing going on, yeah. They came to a murder, they're investigating it. And we're at a strange place called Thimbleweed Park. You haven't been through that little hole in the wall, have you? Yeah, well, yeah. Can you open it? It's sealed shut. No way to open it. Oh, there's a speck of dust. I can't Missed turn it. these one either. There it is. Oh, tunnel to nowhere. <laughs> I can't open that. Why not? We're stuck. Do you think this is a case where we have to swap to the other person and help from that direction? Can we do that? I can't open that. Maybe. I think that's what's going on. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes. Is a case of the sneezes. I can't pull that. I can't push that. I can't it's touch made of this. Plastic. No murder here. Yeah, I don't know what to do. It doesn't appear Swap to be to the character. Right, this is what I'm thinking. So, look, she's got a got... dime. It's a dime. Yeah. We if we get to the where the it's a dime. we think that they are, we can chuck it through the grate, maybe. Not sure why, but okay. Seems like a waste of a good dime. Oh yeah, I like what you're thinking. Nice. Damn, that's a bouncy one. If I was in Inception, I'd be definitely concerned that we were still in a dream there. Why? Because that did not act normally. Yeah. Back to the phone! We just Let's happened to be there. Come on, man, walk. I fucking controls, man. I'm struggling a bit. It's a dime. So use phone. You get a call. Oh, oh James. No, what's the darling number? Do you know the second line? No. There's a dime in the coin return. James. This has fingerprints of everyone in Thimbleweed Park. -E Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Detective and Tony. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000. Lots of fingerprints in here. 
Way too many for me to go. Um, we did. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. I'd better hold on to this until later. Pigeon Brothers what? Plumbing, what Electrical, and here? Paranormal oh, Investigations. We don't monkey Try, wrench around. Try typing around. in that whole Look us up in the phone book like for help with leaks, up. sparks, and frights. Okay. What's her phone? Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting. She has a phone. Yeah, how do I get her number though? I don't know. So James Latzer. Try it. Uh, can you give me the spelling? It's a dime. <laughs> yep. Yeah. L A T Z E. I think that's a Z. A look like a Z to everybody else. Yeah. J A A M E S. Oh, swinging. Hello, you have reached Carlene's voicemail. She never plays computer games, so she may never hear this or your message. If you'd like to leave one anyway, please record after the beep. Oh, he's got the 10 cents back, so it's not that. Detective we have to work Antonio out. Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Where are you going? As well, we've definitely got to solve the phone I thing, I think. You. Unless you go out there and try shouting. I can't open that. Look! There's Agent Ray standing in the Quickie Pal parking lot. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Reyes. Agent Ray, I have sort of a situation here. <sighs> of course you do, rookie. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? You better not be screwing up my case, Reyes. I'm not. I swear. I was in the alley behind the diner looking for clues, totally following agent protocol, and I was jumped. They knocked me out cold. Are you okay? No injuries that will require you to stop working the case? I don't think so. Damn. Not bleeding out and about to die or anything? I thought that playable characters couldn't die in adventure games. That depends on who is making them, but unfortunately, I think you'll be all right. Did you get a look at the guy who whacked you? No, they hid me from behind, so I never saw their face. Might not have even been a guy. Good point. A girl could easily take your scrawny ass out. Hey! So we're looking for a suspect of unknown gender, age, race, height, and weight. Great job as always, Agent Reyes. How's the smell down there? It's not pleasant. Try not to get any crap on your suit. If I have to spend the rest of the evening with you, I prefer you not smell like raw sewage. I think it's a little late for that. How's the rat situation? They haven't gnawed your face off yet, have they? What? Rats can do that? Oh, sure. Rats love eating human flesh. I'm del diablo. You gotta help me. I'll do what I can. In the meantime, sit tight and tuck your pant legs into your socks. That's how they get you. God! <laughs> <laughs> Try not to panic, Reyes. P panic I'm not panicking. Just because there are flesh-eating rats and raw sewage in here, and gators, germs, toxic fumes, and a risk of the tunnels collapsing. So yeah, I'm totally not panicking. I am as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be here if you need me. So, uh, did she have a business card for the... Um... The plumber people? Yeah. Pigeon Can Brothers, she call plumbing, them? Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. 
We're Pigeon Brothers, plumbing, electrical, and no, paranormal you can't look investigations. We don't use it? monkey wrench around. I should hold on to this for a plumbing emergency. So there's a plumbing emergency. I think we've got. To, I think we've got to find a a phone book. Oh, get them out. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? It's all right. We've got the dust. That's all we needed. So I'm trying to talk to Leonard. Uh, yeah, sure. Maps. Bear repeller. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little Dedat. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Uh. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I've only just noticed the rat there. Why is it there? Oh yeah. I heard it no the noise of it and then it's like, oh, there's like a rat. Uh I guess just ask the questions. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Ask it all. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za. When Willie the town bum walks in, was totally whack when I think about it. Yeah, let's ask him Why about did Willie. Why Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. <laughs> He's my freaking He's hero, man. Dude never I went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life but <laughs> the man like some peon in a polyester cage. That will happen no to your daughter. Offense taken. You continue giving her that trash TV. <laughs> These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? 
Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the quickie pal for one. Oh, no, it's the Tron 3000 guy. Uh, I'm going okay. to look around your store. Oh, yeah, the rack's covered by the... Oh, it was empty pronounced. soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Michigan. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. This could come in mm. handy. <laughs> How about that sun? It's a toilet spray on the side. Speck of dust on every scene. Let's check out. Let's check out the bathrooms. Man, to be good. Uh oh. Just then. Walk to light. Use light switch. Ah, uh, let's try to. Fall. Oh, for a good time, Edna. Three, four, four, four. Use your phone. I can't open that. I am. Speck of dust. Three, three, triple four. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? <laughs> Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? <laughs> that was different. Oh, what's the tube? Didn't we have to replace the tube before? It's stuck. Yeah. Everyone knows you, uh. No way am I gonna look in there. I can smell it from here. Everyone knows that you need a, uh, uh, a what? Tube puller. Pull oh, a piece of toilet paper. I don't know why a toilet would need a tube anyway. Well, maybe someone just left it there. God, we don't. Uh, we, we don't want to go that way. Why we don't we? Phone book. Why do we want a phone book? So we can phone that James character. Mm, I'm not sure. Phone books it exist says here. We're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Have we seen the phone book anywhere? No, I don't think so. They must have moved the body from the river. Well, we looked in all the drawers, didn't we? We've been all through this stuff, yeah. Lots of medical books there. Thing Arena. And how do you do? Oh yeah, we can lock ourselves in the thing right away. Do we we done all these drawers, Just didn't we? Just a bunch of files. We did all the drawers, yeah. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch we of did files. Them all. Doing them again. Alright. Oh, are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Yeah, yeah I'm looking for this phone stuff. Book. I want to get my other character back. You're convinced it's going to be a phone book thing, but I'm not. Well, we've got five cents. We can use the photocopier now. 
Oh, that's true. What's this? What did you do? Nothing. This is all part of it. This happens now and again. I think this marks when you've got through a chapter or something. I forgot about the photocopier. I can't open that. Uh, pick up. What are you doing to my map? Please leave it alone. Use it. Well, I think we need to. Can I help you? <clears throat> Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope. It's a priceless original. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the 25th Amendment? Nope. That addresses succession to the presidency and establishes procedures for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president. Don't you mean the 17th Amendment? No. That establishes the direct election of the United States senators by popular vote. I'm really sorry about this. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Don't you mean the can you use the amendment? map with the photo? No, nope, that enough. limits the number of times that a person can be elected president. God keeps nice going. chatting. Got a murder to solve. I'm losing my well known patience. Stop it. Have you got a camera? Did I see? It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Oh, it's not that we can take a video of it or picture then. It's so an you've charged camera, a photocopier. But there's no film in it. You just have to photocopy your arse like everybody else does. I have to put something on it to copy first. I'm not showing my badge here. Can I help you? Nice chatting. On you, sir. Got a murder to solve. Mm. Uh. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. A totally radical convention with all your favorite sci-fi shows, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. Listen to our sponsor, KSCUM 198.7 FM. Better leave it be. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? Cast your lot before it's too late. Oh, look what I found. What? Well, we meant something useful. Cursed head. Cursed mummy. Crow. Cursed doll. Cursed ladder. I can't reach that. Look at this. Solve the puzzle. Oh my god. Why I mentioned? Well, Ron 
crater myth walked to pyramid schemes of the gods. Sewer smells and their meaning. Streets of rage. Fifty fates of grey. Fucking hell. Cursed book. It's the book of the dead. Take it's it the if you wish. It's on the house. But beware. Beware of what? Huh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. <laughs> you, you might need a full arrest device at this point. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. But we can ask her. First item. We talked to her about stuff. Can you just like? A mysterious force must be holding it in place. I'm surprised what we can and can't pick up. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name Seth tag. Na Seth the Navigator's head. There you go. It's the monkey, it's the monkey island joke. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? Ask all the questions. Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Okay, so spill it. Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. <sighs> but if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. Do it. What do you need to help us find the killer? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of assistance. If you can get me in a Garicus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. I'm pretty sure that's a controlled substance. And your point is... We know some moon sewers. What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay, I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flim flams? You come to me. Enough, I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Here you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really have You might need to resubscribe. You sure can. To your no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss you off. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Now Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm literally store. just lying. How can I help? What's your deal? There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. I like their little characters up there. How mm. did you get into this voodoo crap? 
Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. That wasn't the answer I was expecting. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm gonna retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. I suddenly feel like I picked the wrong profession. Why did you open in this crap hole town? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. we get to the, the weird animals? I don't think we could get anywhere else. Oh, they disappear. It's like a pretend. Away. It's like a facade sort of thing, isn't it? Find a mushroom in the sewers. Well, luckily we've got a man right there. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need oh, to do. Do you see any mushrooms? No, I wonder if she has to go and talk to him about the mushrooms. Or it's not in this section of it. Mm. Oh, we talked to this Have dude. Have you seen my dime? Oh, Hello, Willy. Has he got the dodgy wallet? Mm. Hand over your wallet. I'm a federal agent. I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights. Find me a high quality Ransom the Clown wallet, and it's yours. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Loose change? Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. How can I help, Agent Ray? Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Mm -hmm. Tell still me there. a good postal joke. What did the mailman say to the customer who asked if he could ship a donkey in the mail? They told her they'd haul ass and find out. <laughs> it was almost as bad That's as Frank. So I forgot to laugh. What was it, Frank? What do you call a magical Don't dog? Town. I have eyes on you. Labradoodle. Right Too much sorting to do. Jesus. I know. Fucking unbelievable. Buy me some kombucha. You went that way already. Oh, we can go past it. Because you don't go anywhere. Buy me a drink. Any ideas? Um. You avoided going to a location. Did I? Yeah. Where? On the right. On the right. The Here. other right. Yeah. And they sort of went off into the hills. Is there a phone book in a diner?
keep going. So what's up there? Vista. And where's my speck of dust? Where is it? There was no speck of dust. We get to the carnival from there. Whoa, oh, there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. Where will I find it? And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Not a chance. The feds never give up. Or should I say, the Fed-arenos never give up. I see. Now you're mocking me. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. I have to get that map off the wall. Fucking the the locking on this is awful. The locking. Yeah. Short oh, friend book. What was his name? Jay something. Uh hang on. It was written in the chat. Um, I was written Jane, but it's not. It's James. Uh, James Latza. Next, next page. James Latza. There you go. Six six nine six. It's a dime. It's a dime. Jesus, man. <coughs> six, six, nine, six. No, I didn't say six, 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 nine. I said six, six, nine, six. It's a dime. Oh, my God. I warn you, you're making something the sorcerer look good here. Nine, six, there we go. Sorry. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone? Thanks. <laughs> Will they be long? I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Oh, hello, Sheriff. 
Am I glad to see you? This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office of Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Good advice, Sheriff, but can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Uh, nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Now oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. We got an achievement at least. Achievement, great escape. See, we did something. Making progress. Okay. Can we go through the list of stuff we have to do? See what else there was. Murder weapon, find fingerprint, murder weapon, find ID for the victim in hotel. Case trauma for blood swab from the body. So we seem to have lost the body. And. Well, no, it's put back in the. Uh... It's out of, it's out of order. It's for a mucus phlegm adventure game called Jason the News Guy. Well, it's back at the things back in the. Uh... It says Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. A maximum of 12 tokens allowed in circulation at once. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find... Birds out what? Birds out now. Oh. Hello. This is a new place. Talk to the nice lady. Excuse Lady me, of the evening. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A <laughs> hooker like her sister. A hooker like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... a video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too self. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. 
Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Oh no, we're playing a fucking flashback. Yes, we are. I'm so sorry, Curry. Yep. Oh, you're right. The the wizard game is better. <laughs> There's there's just as many places and things. I know. All right, let's go check the mailbox. Oh, hang on. Red gel decoder. If it weren't for these, are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Cody was there when they first come out. Yeah, didn't have one there. Oh, it's a hint line flyer. <laughs> Where we just were. I still get lost after all these years. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. Just have to keep going. I'm still going through doors. Mm, sorry. I should check the mailbox for my computer. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. <laughs> Out of date arcade machines in the wreck area, watch your parent company's profits go. <laughs> Just complete it, mail this cohesive programming test, and you'll be on the way. It's sighting high. Use your computer to connect to Flem to fly today. Wow! Oh, so An ad for a job at Mucus Fun Games, Mucus my Flan. favorite game company. I hear. Darling, we found it. There you go. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. Oh, then I put it in the this? Neat and tidy. No okay, idea. Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. What is this? Mm -hmm. Digging. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? No, no, I no. I'm just oh, no. digging stuff the same in the questions. front green. All right, I'm Mostly sorry. Holes. I just want to see if there's anything else. Then I put it in the All neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! So, go back to the computer. It's not going to be that easy, is it? 
Well, let's find out. What, what was that? Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flex. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Use with dual computer. 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fat... I'm dialing the Mucus Flem modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Flem. Welcome to the new online Mucus Flem job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then oh, print out the application Jack. and send it to Mucus Flem. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Um, was Dolores? What, what is her name? Thank you. What is your address? Mm. Because we were just out there. <laughs> Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Do you want to choose one? They might ask us a question. Choose basic, that'd be easiest. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Eight pixels. Next question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? <sighs> Separate thread? Separate thread, go with that. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need to go find a book about Mucus programming. There we go. There was a room with lots of books somewhere. Someone's at the door. I oh, know. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. We can open the mail. It's a letter to my uncle. It's a letter to my uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office is. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it. If the envelope is. It's a letter to my uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. All right. So there was. Where are you going? I was. I wondered if the address was written on the door. I was probably written on the envelope, though, isn't Chuck. it? Yeah, but I, I looked. Expected, it just the was post it. office's poorly look. programmed auto stamp cancellation machine look has at. failed. It's a letter to my uncle Chuck. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Ex well, go go outside if you want to and have a look. I I I just thought. Oh, does the does the front of that book have a full name anyway? It says Dolores, and it says Pascal. That's clearly her favourite programming language, huh? I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Hi there. What are you digging? Oh, Alright, Doris. Sorry. I'm just digging again. stuff in the front green. Uh, Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. So try opening the mailbox. Digging. Right, nothing in it. It's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. Postman comes once a day. Since it's addressed to Uncle Chuck, it's just going to get sent back here again. Oh yeah, look at the trophy. Maybe it's got her name there. 
It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. Hmm. Right, what else was downstairs? Because we got some other stuff upstairs to look at. That's the normal way of steaming that rope. Ouch! The letter's hot, but I need steam. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. It doesn't work in that. I don't want to fill it with water. It doesn't work in that. There's nothing inside. There's nothing Ooh, inside. Oh no, that's what I'm looking for. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. I can't open that. Fuck off. It's an empty glass. Used glass. On force it. The glass is now filled. It's a glass filled with water. Use that in the microwave. And then put the letter in the microwave. Then use the microwave. It will boil the fucking water, creating steam. And so we just get the stamps. The envelope has been steamed letter. open. Okay. Do you want to read it? What the beep is holding up the toy licensing contract? Your brother Franklin said this was a done deal. So I thought I'd write to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge. And making Ransom dolls will be printing beeping money. Beep off, Ransom. Oops. I don't want to pick that up. Carefully button. handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Flam adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary desk just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Alright. Oof. So much crap we don't need here. Oh, oh hang on, we can. There's nothing inside. 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 Cool. The fireplace looks very clean. There's that door halfway up the stairs. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library. F hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1.
It says out of order. It's upstairs. It What's says out, out of order. order. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Was it three point one? Mm -hmm. A lot of coding. Did you read all of that then? No. What were we looking for? Uh, something about the um, thing that stops Cambrian, Mucus, Mucus Arts. There it is. Alright. Oh, the. Okay, so. Can't really. Multitask at the main room is. Six room local premises. Source level debugging is run on a simple monitor. Variables will be modified by debugging. Passwords print to NFL. Characters when the screen scrolls at rooms for eight full floors. Characters can be displayed on the screen at one time. Okay. I think. Still don't know our address or if we got our name right though. It's a bit fun to be in there. Yeah, we got the book. There was stuff on the right as well. What's that all about? Oh, okay. I think it was. It's all just. Uh, what's her name? Dolores. Oh, yeah. There, isn't she somewhere? No. And um, what's her old man's name? Chuck. Chuck what? There's nothing there on the chuck. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, what's that? Why has that got a tick? I don't know. Five, two, six, six, three. Thank you. Thank you. What was it? Oh, yeah, it spells out James. That's why. You're really cool. Hey, it's Rosie. Leave me a message. Bye. Oh, fifty-two, sixty-three. No, stop! Just go. What are you doing? Jesus! Why are you calling it again? It spells out James. We've already called it. We did it from the sewer. Hello, you have reached Carlene's voicemail. She. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want me to go back up there? No. 
Oh, okay. Have a look in her room, see if we can find any clues. You're a rebel, Billy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my- It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. This section includes the complete history of Mucus Phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all Mucus Phlegm games. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Do you want to connect to me on Parsec so I can go to the toilet? And no. you can carry on. No, no, it's too, it's too long-winded to do. Oh. Should we, uh... Do you reckon you can fudge it? Please fudge answer what? the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Eight but pixels. That bit we got right. Next question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? Separate monitor. A separate monitor. Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Oh, I think it's 256. I don't know. Next question. What are room backgrounds compressed into? <sighs> Let's say character sets. I can't remember that one. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. <laughs> hey, Yay! We fudged I it. answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. We fudged it. And I'll be back. Alright. Uh, shall I just. Now we can't hear you. Can you guys still hear me? Exciting times. We'll get to send an application off. Maybe. It's on the printout. We've got a stamp. That is, isn't it? Oh, you can hear me. I was just assuming you were looking at my mouth moving and saying you can't hear me anymore. What a cruel joke. Boo. Frank is evil. How's it going, Andy? Are you doing much? We are, we are taking a jack toilet break at the moment. We are just about to send off our application. Um, and that might complete the flashback. I've just taken my socks off, which I'm just about to put back on. Because my feet were too hot. And they're cold again. Just reviewed my 100th charge of the year. Jesus. Not very exciting, are they? It's like it charges, it discharges. That's about it. Nothing else going on to say, really. Can do it inside. I'm fed up with being inside. I tried to go outside to fly today to find out I have no field. 
so I am royally screwed in terms of trying to um, do anything. I can't do any flying, therefore I can't finish any reviews properly. I got I got nothing, nothing going on now. Doomed. Need to join a sandal club. Ah. Ugh. Then I have to pay money so I can drive somewhere to fly around a bloody square field with sandal wearing plebs not wanting me there. Ugh. It's all a nightmare. There is no field, Frank. There is now a building site instead. Concrete path to the poo bin. Wow, well, you got the rest of the field there, haven't you? As well as your very nice field. To say that's a club, you see, you seem to have you and um, I've got his name now there on your own most of the time. Hopefully, you'll be able to get to there again soon. Well, that just means more traffic. It's true. Every place outside now has more traffic. Fuck me, that was close, Corey. Oh. You managed to get there, though. Yep. Hmm, yeah, I yeah. printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Oh, man. We need you back on the screen, by the way, Jack. I am. Oh, there you are. Sorry, yeah, the, the, the stream's running so far behind. Yeah, pretty much, Andy. It's so lovely to see you. you this section boy. includes the complete history. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. Put water on it. Uh, I don't want to pick that up. It's a glass filled with water. Use. It doesn't work in that. What else you got? Let's have a liquid. It's a can of Poopsie. I want a drink called Poopsie. I don't feel like the taste for a non trained bark infringing Poopsie now. Oh. Soaking the ribbon in water will get it wet, but it won't re ink it. <sighs> Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. It's so you good, it'll pie. kill you. I'm confused. No, it was, uh, it, it was one of our starting items. Ah. Uh. Oh. It's Fleurlene, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three. It's Fleurlene, no. my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Can we use Poopsie on the printer ribbon? It's a glass filled with water. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained bark infringing. I don't feel like Apparently the taste not. for non-trained bark infringing poopsie now. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. Uncle Chuck is too cheap to buy ribbons, so he just re-inks. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. I think we're actually looking for ink here. No, no, not the random doors. I'm at the staircase. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Oh, this game's so self aware, it's painful. There's any books on re-inking? Probably. I have to go to the um, index. <sighs> the 
This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3000 library. I don't need to find any books now. So I need to leave. Where are you going? What's He's going off on? somewhere. We don't know where. Not long now, Andy. It would get it wet, but it wouldn't re ink here. So. Mm -hmm. Fireplace. What's in the fireplace? Get a good look. Where are you going? I said, look at the fireplace. I did. Did he just kept looking, walking to it? It's the clean. The fireplace looks very clean. Oh, okay. No good for inking then. Is it? Dig in. <laughs> Open that. I can't push that. Do you know what this reminds me of? What's that? Daily I don't want to open it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. I don't want to open it. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered. That doesn't seem to work. You know Day of the Tentacle had a clock? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see it again. you idiot I'm just trying to you know help is that yelling go oh, gag me I hope my dad and uncle Chuck aren't fighting again and since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow I've come up with this you know great plan to repurpose them we can use them to make you know plush toys Franklin you idiot the company is pillow tronics not stupid plush toy tronics we make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this! Your brothers! Take a chill pill! You started the pillow factory together! Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about. Do you see what I see? Uh, right, Franklin, old brother. Ah, on yes, the desk. You know, your uncle and What's I were book? just uh, oh, know, that ink? talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. It's empty. <laughs> Try using the water with the empty ink. This isn't a water-based ink. Not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. Got any alcohol? I can't use the bottle with that. I can't use the bottle with that. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained bark and print. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. 
I see some black powder around the edges. I can't use the bottle with that. Cat's O9's tail whip. Let's chuck into bondage. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tails. Produced by getdigital.eu. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I hope it's good news. You'll hear all about it when you take over the pillow factory, Dolores, my dear. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing... Dolores, I'm busy working on my masterpiece. Don't touch. You can program him after you've taken over at the pillow factory. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times... It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets re... It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I ain't got a clue what to do. No, me neither. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you- Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access- Hmm. Uncle Chuck- Well, there's a safe behind there. Ouch! Oh. No pinching. Oh, excuse me. Feeling my way along. Sorry, sorry. Maybe we could use the mud that he's digging. He must be digging for a reason. Whatever is digging. Digging? I don't want to whip an Hi Doug. What are you digging? Alright, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Sorry, sorry. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta Dolores. Try picking up the dirt. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up though. Digging? I can't use the bottle with that. Digging in the front green. That doesn't seem to work. Digging in the front green. I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Flask of extreme chili sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. I don't fucking know, Curry. I don't know. Do we hint guide it? I know I have a good idea. Oh, I still see. I'd better hold on to this. 
I'd Let's better hold on to this. I don't want to whip anything. Just talk to him. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. This is depressing. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Is this a good stopping point, Jack? I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. Yeah, man. All good. I blame the two hours of walking with nothing to show for it. Apologies for the late start, people. Yeah, you had to wake me up. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's uh, let's go raid uh, raid someone, I guess. And it's you gonna, know, it's gonna be Connie again, isn't it? Well, no, because she finished. She always finishes, didn't she? It does. Where's she got? Hang on, let's um. Oh, hello. What? Why, why aren't you showing up? Me? Yeah. Did you shut your camera? No. no. I'm there. Hello. Ah, oh, hello, buddy. I'm on there now. Yep. It's about 10 seconds behind. Hello. Hello. Um, F5. Quit. Yeah, quit. Uh, I'm just gonna look, see who's streaming. I mean, is Connie. Alright, let's go raid her. So I think we're stalking her. Never raids us, but then again, she was always on later. So, yep, everyone go over there, go say hello to the lovely Connie. And Absolute waste. Be cool. See you guys later. Have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. Night all. Sorry, dude, I was so nice. Right. Yeah, it's not that interesting, is it, that game? It's all about, it's hey, reading. I, reading. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. What reading play, games sweetie? sets me off the sleep Are more than I hope so. just reading. <laughs> so knackered. I think I've ever played Parasite Eve. Kloss hit me with that angry emote. That is the best emote. I love Kloss's angry emote. Is it a bit like... Resi Silent Hill type of thing. So lovely to see you. I hope you had a good stream, Dreams. Oh, we're, we're playing Parasite Eve, as per, and um, yeah, I'm lost, as per usual. <laughs> hey, Franks. Frank is now Franks. Best curry was with you. That's good then. That's what you need. You need a curry kitten. Everyone needs a curry kitten. Everyone needs, I certainly need one. Alright, well, I'll just save then. I'm so lost with this lift. She was right next to the lift. She made me think I had to go to the lift. Mm. Can't like the song curry. Parasite Eve by Bring Me the Horizon. Alright, sleepy Luke, bear. I, I didn't mind I'll it, catch you tomorrow. Yeah, like thanks for playing with me, man. That's ah, right. Sorry, I was a bit short. A bit of an no, don't we'll do some more soon. I, I was think? just oh, grateful to see you, mate, because uh, it fucking cheers me up, and I look forward to this.
even if oh, we yeah. just oh, do yeah. an hour. That's so, so great. Well, they also based a song off Mount Rushmore, didn't they? Right. Oh. Shadow Moses. No worries. Yeah, no worries, buddy. Rest well. Like a little no. speck of pearl. This is the Wait. broken lift, isn't it? 